So Omar Nias has signed for Cardiff on loan. This is the first move Cardiff have made uh, this transfer window in the market they're expected to bring in emiliano Salo as well uh, from over from france but this is the first move they have made so far umani ass was signed from locomotive moscow back in um, 2016 and he was signed then by roberto martinez he signed for around 13 and a half million pound and he played five times that season in that season uh, Ro Roberto Martinez was sacked and replaced by Ronald Koeman Ronald Koeman then decided to completely freeze out Umanias and and told him if he wanted to play football that he had to play somewhere else and in that season he made no appearances and he went out, out on loan to Hull Hull eventually got relegated he scored four times for Hull in that time uh, and then he came back to Everton and he was really frozen out still by Ronald Koeman. Ronald Koeman was eventually sacked and he went on to play 22 times for Everton in the Premier League, scoring eight times, which isn't a bad record at all. This season, he has made just five appearances under new manager Marco Silva and he has yet to pick up a goal. They needed somebody to bring in. They needed some strikers, and that's exactly what they have secured uh, in uh, Nias. Uh, the second Senegalese forward could um, provide a few more goals than what they've been getting. Um, you know, Cardiff, they've looked very, very poor going forward. Very poor going forward. And uh, Mendes Lang, who was a big, big impact player for them last season hasn't really done it this season in the league above um danny look danny ward look completely out of his depth when he has played um and that means that uh, callum patterson has been playing up front and that is a way of just minding the gap but they can't go on like that forever that is ridiculous so they've decided to get um get umar nias in and i think this is a really really good idea bringing in somebody who knows the league and also has scored goals in the past. He did it last season, eight goals, um, four goals for Hull. And uh, and yeah, somebody that they could potentially bring on if they were to bring in Emiliano Salah as well. Uh, I feel like Nias's run at uh, Everton has just been totally, totally awful. I mean, he's never really got going much. Uh, he's had one, two, three, four different managers uh, each season. So um, he's had... Roberto Martinez, and then he had uh, David Unsworth, and then he went back to uh, Ronald Koeman, uh, and then he had um, David Unsworth again. He had Sam Allardyce, and he's also had uh, Marco Silva over two spells. So he hasn't really had much of a a chance, uh, really. He's he he's done okay in um, in 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 spells, but uh, besides under Sam, he hasn't really had much of a chance, and he's always been. A, a bit part player since he left Locomotive Moscow to sign for Everton. I feel that they needed somebody in this department and to sign him and another player would be absolutely brilliant. Um, and I feel like it's a way of keeping them up. I think that's something they definitely needed to look to, towards uh, in the um, in this transfer window. And that's exactly what they've done. Whether he will be a good at keeping them up or not, I have no idea. But I think he'll add goals to them, which is really, really key. Uh, especially with the other lad coming in, it could be a good partnership. Uh, but they can't go on playing Patterson up front. It's um, it's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? There's, there's just no way that he will score the goals to uh, to keep them up. Um, so I think this is a good good signing. Uh, somebody that has been in the league before, and somebody that has been in a struggling battle before, and has done okay. Um, he did okay at Hull. Um, you know, only four goals, but he he did offer them a, a bigger threat than what they had before. So I think um, he could do a very, very good job um, for Neil Warnock's men. But tell me what you think down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, feel free to leave a like. I would really appreciate that. If you're new, uh, feel free to subscribe as well. I would really, really appreciate that. Um, we're on the road to uh, 3,500 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for everyone who has already subscribed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Nonetheless, I didn't really cover Cardiff much, so I hope you enjoyed If you are a Cardiff fan, Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Mike and I will see you soon.